Okay. 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 So it's it's in my family. Actually, one of classmates who came here, you know, say about. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna praise my grandmother. So it's the woman I lost the most. I mean, I I love the most. Um, there is a lot of reasons that that's why uh, I love my grandmother. But I'm gonna give some highlights why do I love my grandmother. So. Uh, today, if I'm speaking English here, it's because of my grandmother. She's the one who put me in, in a college, or in this private college. It's expensive, you know, in my country to, to be in a, in a private English school. It's very expensive. But my grandmother, you know, she put me in this school. Uh, and uh, what I admired most is because my grandmother, she never attended school. She cannot read or write, but she knows the importance of education, maybe because she was, you know, she was raised, you know, in a white people's home. You know, she was a maid in a, one of those white guys in a back home, and maybe she used to listen, you know, how important education is. And that's why she, you know, she valued education. Uh, and if when I um, after high school uh, to to go on the institute you know, of telecommunication is expensive as well, uh, but. My grandfather had money, but uh, I didn't have connection to talk to my grandfather because she was a strict man, you know. She's, she's not that guy that, you know, is open to talk with the, you know, with the grandchildren. But I talked to my grandmother, and she was like, make the connection, you know, she, and she talked to my grandfather, and you know, later on, you know, she called me and said, okay, your grandfather is going to pay school for you, and I was very happy. Even the books, you know, books, uh, when I want to buy some books, like um, English books, dictionaries, and stuff like that, you know, I tell my grandmother, and uh, she can say, okay, you know, you bother me, or stuff like that, but even me, sometimes I forget, you know, I'm not going to have that book. But after three days, you know, I see she give me the money to buy the book, I was like, wow. And uh, I'm just very thank you know, thankful to have this grandmother, you know. And sometimes when I talk about my grandmother, people ask me, what about your mother? I have a mother, so I love my mother, but I think my grandmother, she stole the love from my, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> she stole, because I was raised with her, my grandmother. And uh, she's like a teacher for me, you know, a lawyer, and uh, a doctor. You know, she's everything to me. I don't know if any woman in the world you know, will take that love. From my grandmother, and uh, when uh, uh, teachers say you know, about the craze of blame, so come and pop in my mind was about my grandmother. So thank you very much. That's my. Can you say something in your native how she would speak, like a sentence or something that she would say to you in your language? You she said "tosakidila." Tosakidila means uh, thank you, and her name is Isabel. Tua yeah, means thank you. Thank you. Tua sakidila. Tua sakidila. Is she still around? She doing okay? Yes, she's in her 17. She's she's still doing okay. And she yeah, she even goes to to sell. You know, the, in Africa there's this open market. People go and sell stuff. Uh -huh. And she go and she sell rice, bean. And uh, oh. she even supported you no know, people in the home. She's wow. a very strong woman. Nice. Wow. Okay, what else we got left?